actually, no. <laughs> okay, no, seriously. You don't... Why a water dish? Tell me. Um, because your snake should already be well hydrated. It's, it's home. It's enclosure. Should have fresh, clean water. It should already be hydrated. This isn't a dog or cat or a mammal that needs to drink water every single day. Have water available? Yes. They're not going to drink it every day. It will be fine if you do this method. First of all, I don't even agree with this method at all. It's unnecessary. It's just half wits thinking they know something. Ooh, you know, whatever. Um, but if we go by your standard of 24 hours, do you do ship snakes? Do you put a water dish in that box when you're shipping a snake? It's overnight delivery, 24 hours. You don't, do you? Because they will be fine. You hydrate them before. They should always be hydrated. But when you get a new snake, and if you get it in the mail, what do you do? You get it water right away. So, one, that, I mean, that right there doesn't hold hold water. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. The other thing, um, a heating pad. The environment should already be warm. The environment should already be warm. I, I, first of all, I don't hate heat rocks. I don't hate heat rocks. Uh, I got YouTube video on it. Uh, but I can't believe you said a heat rock. The reptile community will eat you alive if you suggest a heat rock. People just love to hate it. They don't know why. 99% of them don't know why. And they'll give you some, yeah, it will overheat and burn your reptile. Every heating device we use can burn a reptile. It's just, it's dumb. But I digress. Kinda. So, no. I, I mean, yeah, the, the environment should be something warm. Uh, but a heating rock, probably not a good idea. Heating pad underneath um, would be better, I believe. But the environment should already be warm. The, I don't understand. I guess in the wintertime, you need extra heat. I don't know. Um, what was the other thing you said? Oh, yeah, the uh, holding it for 24 hours, that's a noob thing. That's, that's for new people who are very new to snakes and don't understand uh, really how to read the animal. Because I'll tell you what, I don't claim to be no expert, but I have definitely purchased, on multiple occasions, purchased a snake at the show and before i left said show i went to the guy selling live rodents bought the appropriate size meal for my new my new snake i purchased put that live rodent in the deli cup drove an hour two hours back home sometimes i don't even make it to my vehicle and the snake is already eating it because i'm walking through people to get out of the place and then through the parking lot that snake is already eating do you think he cares that i don't hold him for 24 hours do you think he looks at his watch nah so now is that absolute it is not absolute there are certainly some snakes that as an individual um are just too fearful too fearful and yes, they will, they can, and it has happened, they will regurgitate too much handling. Absolutely. Is it an absolute law? Absolute rule? No. But if you're new to snakes, yeah, lean to, lean on that a bit, you know, until you get real comfortable to where you can understand and read them and understand like, oh, this snake I can, this snake I can't. So, actually... You shouldn't. <laughs>